Whoa, hey, look out, look who got a new camera. Look at that, wow. <sighs> All right, so today we're gonna talk about Logan Paul versus KSI. So seriously, what we're gonna talk about is the new Hellcat challengers. Not necessarily just the Hellcat, but everything. So let's get to it. We're gonna start from the bottom, work our way to the top. So first things first, we're gonna start with the Scat Pack, the thing I drive. The Scat Pack now for 2018 has a new wide body kit to it. I'm mainly gonna talk about the Hellcats. So the wide body Scat Pack is coming out. It's the same exact thing as the wide body Hellcat, but it's on a Scat Pack, so that's out. Basically the same thing, obviously not the same engine as the Hellcat, but it has the same exact design to it, same tire, it's big, it's powerful, it's got a lot of horsepower, and it can handle a lot better than a normal Scat Pack because it's got bigger tires on it. But let's cut to it with the Hellcats. Normal Hellcat, what's new for the 2019 models? I might have said 18 before, but I meant the 19. The 19 Hellcats now have 717 horsepower. So, you might want to know where the horsepower came from for the new Hellcat. Well, I got you covered. The new Hellcat has 717 horsepower because it has a new hood to it, which I'm hopefully going to put a picture right here. The new Hellcat has 1717 horsepower because the new hood is actually fully functional and it will let air in right through the hood and give it that extra boost of power and keep the cooling down a little bit for the intake air temperatures. It's sort of like the Demon. So I'm going to get to that in a minute, but the new hood design is what gives it the extra horsepower. The Charger has the same horsepower amount, 707. I'll probably make a different video on that. This is for just the Challenger, so I'm not all over the place. Challenger, 717 horsepower now for 2019. And another good bonus is for you people that don't care, you can now get cloth seats with the Hellcats. So that is now an option. So you don't have to go all out and spend all this money on all these options you don't want. So cloth seats, if you want that, go right ahead, get cloth seats. But that's new for it. But everything else is going to be basically the same. There's no redesign yet for the Hellcats or the Challengers at that. It's probably a couple years away. Um, I would like for it to be sooner, but, you know, whatever. We can put up with it. It's not like anyone's complaining about these cars anyway. New Hellcat, that basically sums it up. It's got a new hood. It has more horsepower to it and you can get different options with it this year also. They completely got rid of the SRT Challengers and Chargers. The Scat Pack is the main thing, but don't worry. Like I said, I'll make a video on that. You can get different suspension, hoods, whatever you want with that. Brakes, tires, wheels, they make a whole bunch of stuff for that. On to the Red Eye, the thing that everybody is curious about. The new Red Eye is the thing everybody wants. You can get them with standard 797 horsepower and a wide body if you want or no wide body if that's what you want but the red eye is the picture in my thumbnail and i'm also going to put a picture up here hopefully but the red eye is going to come standard with a different spoiler makes it a little more aerodynamic and it helps get that top speed up so the red eye tops out at 203 miles an hour it's the same exact engine and everything as the demon the main difference between the two of them is gonna be the demon was built for drag racing not for aerodynamic purposes not for obviously it is aerodynamic they're trying to make it somewhat aerodynamic and not a school bus it's obviously not meant for top speed but the red eye has the same internals as the demon the difference between the demon and the red eye if you're wondering they just said is the hood the demon's hood is massive it has a 45 inch hood scoop it's huge but they did not want to put that on the red eye because the top speed would be limited and once you get up to a high speed it's a little unstable because you're sort of grabbing all that air that it's got nowhere to go and it's just forcing it back it's more aerodynamic the scoop it's got two dual scoops well one set of dual scoops and it's also got air coming into it that helps the horsepower over the previous Hellcats but it's not as big of a scoop as the Demon to hurt it performance wise at a high speed. So the Red Eye, yeah, same internals as the Demons, it's uh, you know, it can take more power, they're, they're more sturdy, the equipment on the inside with the forged rods and whatnot is a lot better than the old Hellcat. Well, not old, they still make them the same, but the new Red Eye is what everybody wants. It's going to come standard with 797 horsepower, the standard flatter wing, 
um, more horsepower than the Hellcat, a tenth of a second zero to 60 time quicker, and you can get it with the same options basically as the Demon. You can get cloth seats with it, you can get a wide body with it though, you can get no wide body, so basically you can build it and design it however you please, but they're going to come at a good starting price. Everybody was thinking they're going to be terrible. If you add all the options, yeah, they're a little more expensive than a Demon's MSRP, but, um, you know, they're low 70s for just a normal red eye if that's what you want, MSRP. So, um, they're a good deal, but they are, uh, yeah, they're, they're, there's a lot of options you can get with them, but that's what everybody wants is the new red eye. It's about a tenth of a second quicker than a Hellcat, like I said. It weighs about the same, and the only difference between the demon and the red eye is the hood for horsepower the red eye and the hellcat are going to have the same hood but i believe they're going to have different spoilers the red eye is going to have the flatter spoiler and the demon's gonna i mean the hellcat's going to have the standard spoiler with it but obviously everyone's biggest complaints with these hellcats is they don't get enough traction so if you get a red eye i would definitely say get a wide body because it'd be worth it to get the extra 10 30 millimeters of tire space on it that is the newest update so far for the new Hellcats. Nothing crazy. We're waiting a few more years to see what else happens, if they're going to redesign something. That is big news, though. That's going to keep them pushing. People are going to want these things more and more and more. And Mopar, you've done it again. You're killing the muscle car game. Round of applause. Round of applause to Mopar. They're killing it out there. That is the new news for 2019. Let's go over colors real quick. Colors are going to be the same um, as what's out now. You still have your Plum Crazy Purple. You still have your B5 Blue. And the new silver, they're not calling it Billet Silver. I believe this is still silver, though, because they're advertising silver. Triple Nickel is silver. It's not Billet Silver anymore, but it looks pretty much the same. It's still silver, so um, that's something else to look forward to. We'll see if it's an actual difference, sort of like Contusion Blue and Jazz Blue is basically the same thing, but yeah, I don't know. Some people says there's a difference. Some people say there isn't. The Red Eye, just to put it out there still has the torque reserve system that the demon has still has the chiller killer system that the demon has so that's another benefit of getting the red eyes you have that now they now come standard with line lock as well so you can actually lock the brakes up on the hellcat and the scat pack and the red eye and heat your tires up as soon as you want to take off at a drag race or wherever you may be taking off at, you can go ahead and do that with the line lock feature. They still both have launch control as well, so they'll both have that. But yes, the Red Eye will have the Chiller Killer system, and it will also have the line lock system and the torque reserve system that the demon had so you can't take your wheels off the front of the pavement like the demon it's not going to come with the demon tires like the drag radials it's still a street car but it is awesome and it has 797 horsepower that is the video that's what i got i'll bring you some more news once i get it i'll see you guys next time peace also please go ahead thumb it up subscribe if you want to see more i'm going to be dropping some more info just let me know Peace.